Hey guys, it's me here, Chalia, and welcome back to my YouTube channel because this is the only channel that gives you pure agribusiness content. And today, I'm an in, a, in an avocado orchard, and uh, I want to talk about something in terms of avocado. So we have two main varieties of avocado, and of course, so many other varieties of avocado. For in this case, I'm going to mention only two, that is Fuete and Has. So in my hands here, I'm holding two varieties of avocado. We have this one here, Fuete variety. It's very smooth on the skin. And then we have here, Has. And this is the main fruit for export. As you can see, this one is actually meeting the export standards. It's very clean. And in terms of size, it's almost in the recommended size. And of course, I have the third one. This one does not meet export standards because it's already infested with pests, as you can see. So for you to have good production and avoid such cases, you need to have proper pest control in your farm. So your orchard must always be clean, at least to keep away the pests. So let me quickly mention whatever I wanted to talk about, and that is pollination in avocado. That's why we have, that's why I'm talking about Hass and Fuete. There's how these two plants are related, and uh, in one way or another, they increase the production. So as you can see in this tree, so let me just put these ones down. So this is an uh, Hass plant, and it's a type A variety. So this plant has it flowers twice in a day. So we have one set flowering in the morning and another that the, the, the set that flowers in the morning, that is the female. And the male opens for, pol for pollen in the afternoon. So when you have an orchard with purely hers, you will find that you have a scenario that has uh, the plant only opens in the morning for pollination and bees will work on the flowers. And then again, they open in the afternoon. That's when bees again will come and work on the flowers. So there's that break in between. For instance, if, if you have bees in your farm that are doing pollination, of course bees, they're the leading pollinators in terms of all the plants. So for instance, our farm here, we only have bees doing pollination as the main activity. So there's that break from morning flowers opening and evening, there's that break. So our bees tend to run to the neighbor to go collect pollen. Such that when this tree here opens in the afternoon, we don't have bees flying around to do pollination, meaning Bees are already tired and they are full with the pollen from the neighborhood. So the evening, the afternoon flowers opening won't be pollinated as much as we want. So an advice to the farmers, like for instance, whatever I'm about to do here, I'm going to plant Fuete variety. This, this type B variety, it always improves its production dramatically. This is because it has got pollen all time through. So if you have these two types of uh, avocado varieties in your farm, that is Haas type A and Fuete type B, you will have, your production will increase because there will be a 20, 12 hour pollination activity going through in your farm. So from morning to evening, like I would put it this way, in the morning we have uh, has has variety being pollinated and then in here between morning and uh, afternoon we have fuete flowers opening up so there will be an activity again in fuete and then once they are done with fuete has will be opening up again they fly from fuete to has but still in the same orchard so the bees won't be flying away to go look for food they will always be playing around your orchard so like in this case, I have 
two lines of hash. So I have this one and I have this one. In between here, I have Quete. I'm going to plant this Quete here to support the pollination bit of it that I'm talking about. So what you need when it comes to planting, you need healthy seedling of Quete, soil mixed with the well decomposed manure, and then there you go. Of course, this soil is the, is the top soil. We don't do the other one. So we put aside the, uh, the, the, bo the bottom soil from the hole, and then within the soil we mix the, the top soil with manure. So here we are. There we go. And we are done. So guys, for more info in terms of how to make avocado oil from home, please, this is the best and the right channel to go to. Please, so kindly subscribe, follow. Soonest I'm done with the process of uh, oil extraction, you will find it definitely on this channel. So guys, let's subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye.